Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the one of the important application of derivative is that concavity and convexity of a function. In the last video we discussed whether the function is increasing or decreasing depending upon the sign of the first derivative. If the sign of first derivative is positive then the function f of x is increasing and if the sign of first derivative is negative then the function f of x is decreasing. For the analysis of a function we also need to determine whether the function is concave or convex. These two notions of concavity and convexity are used widely in economics theory and are also central to the optimization theory. Whether the function is concave or convex depending upon the sign of second derivative of a function. If the second derivative of a function f of x is positive that is f double prime of x is greater than 0 then the function is said to be convex function in the given interval. If the second derivative of a function f of x is negative that is f double prime of x is less than 0 then the function is said to be concave of a function in the given interval. A function is convex at x is equal to a if in an area very close to a the graph of the function lies completely above its tangent line. So the first derivative is greater than 0 that is f prime of x is greater than 0 of course this, this function is increasing function and a positive second derivative at x is equal to a denotes the function is convex at x is equal to a. So this is the increasing function and at the same time it is convex. See the second graph that is the graph of a function which is also lies completely above its tangent line but the first derivative of a function f of x that is f prime of x is less than 0. So the function is decreasing but we have a positive second derivative at x is equal to a denotes the function again it is a convex to the origin at x is equal to a. Although it is a decreasing function but the function is convex to the origin. A function f of x is concave at x is equal to a if in some small region close to point a that is the graph of the function lies completely below its tangent line as against the convex function. So in this case the second derivative the negative second derivative at x is equal to a that is f double prime of x is less than 0 which denotes the function is concave at x is equal to a. The sign of the first derivative is irrelevant in the case of a concavity of a function. Similarly see the second graph in this case also the graph of the function lies completely below its tangent line. So we can say that this function is also concavity because the negative second derivative at x is equal to a that is f double prime of x is less than 0 then which denotes that the function is concave at x is equal to a. Now a numerical example that is determine whether the function is convex or concave at x is equal to 3. For example the function y is equal to x cube minus 7x square plus 6x minus 2. So take the first derivative that is f prime of x is equal to the derivative of x cube that is 3x square minus the derivative of 7x square which is 14x plus the derivative of 6x which is equal to 6 and the derivative of 2 which is equal to 0. So the first derivative of given function that is f prime of x is equal to 3x square minus 14x plus 6. Again we are going to take the derivative of the first derivative. So the second derivative that is f double prime of x is equal to the derivative of 3x square which is 6x minus the derivative of 14x which is 14 plus derivative of 6 which is constant so it will become 0. So the second derivative that is f double prime of x is equal to 6x minus 14. Now we are assumed that x is equal to 3. Now we are substituting x is equal to 3 on the second derivative that is f double prime of x then it will become 6 into x that is 6 into 3 
minus 14 which is equal to 4. Since 4 is equal to greater than 0, the function is said to be a convex function. Similarly, consider another example and determine whether the function is convex or concave at x is equal to 3. So, the given function y is equal to minus 2x cube plus 4x square plus 9x minus 15. Take the first derivative of a given function, then f prime of x is equal to minus 6x square plus 8x plus 9. In order to determine the function is convex or concave, we have to consider the sign of second derivative. So, we are going to take the second derivative. So, this f double prime of x is equal to minus 12x plus 8 and now we are substituting x is equal to 3 then it will become minus 12 into x which is equal to 3 so minus 12 into 3 plus 8 which is equal to minus 28 since minus 28 is less than 0 the function is said to be concave I hope you are clear about the concept of convexity and concavity as an application of the derivative in the next video, we will discuss the optimization of a function. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.